How protective is a protective suit? At SEA, we decided to find out. We performed numerous tests on many people in different suits. This video shows one such test. It uses the SE Shield protective suit. The test chamber provides a perfectly controlled atmosphere. A system of strategically placed fans help to disperse the air evenly throughout the chamber. An exhaust vent at floor level lets us control the concentration of contaminant in the air. The contaminant is a paraffin oil mist, which is created by an aerosol generator and released into the chamber. Four tubes are connected to sampling probes inside the suit. A set of controls lets us switch between probes. A high efficiency particle filter allows us to mix the sampled air with clean air to make up the required airflow for our detection equipment. A sensor monitors the test person's heart rate during the test. The SE400 fan unit is worn inside the suit and is completely sealed in by ceiling rings. An electronic data logger is used to monitor the speed and volume of every single breath the test person takes during the exercise. After the test, this information is downloaded to a computer for processing. It's time to get into the protective suit. The SE400 respirator is now an integral part of the suit and the fan unit is strapped on like a backpack. The pressurization hose on the fan unit will provide a positive pressure inside the suit. The filters are threaded into the ceiling rings. When the test person puts on his face mask, he will only breathe purified air through the respirator. The test person dons the face mask and the respirator starts up. The data logger is switched on and starts to record the test person's breathing cycle. The heart monitor is also synchronized and activated. The suit is completely zipped up and carefully sealed around the visor and neck. In accordance with common work practices, the suit is taped along the most critical seams. It is now time to enter the test chamber. One of the sampling ports is showing on the back of the suit. There is one sampling port on the back, another in the chest area, one in the crutch of the suit,
And finally, one probe low down in the leg. We are almost ready to begin the test. The photometer which will measure the leakage into the suit is calibrated to zero. The last thing to do in the test chamber is to make sure that the air dispersion conforms to the recommended standards. There are 10 physical exercises in our test, nine of them devised by the American National Fire Protection Association. The first exercise is to get down on your knees, alternating left, then right, and then stand up. Next, squatting. This is a critical movement for a protective suit, especially when you straighten up and the suit deflates. Next, Bending at the waist also puts great demands on the suit. Each of these exercises is done for 1 minute and 20 seconds, with 40 seconds break in between. The test supervisor switches between the four sampling ports with regular intervals of 20 seconds for each port. The test continues as we measure the effect of arm movement on inward leakage. The temperature in the test chamber is kept at 24 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 66%. These factors are kept constant in all tests. In many exercises, such as this one, you can see how the suit balloons at certain motions, then deflates. Deflation is the critical moment for inward leakage. A vigorous knees-up motion places stress on the lower part of the suit. The last NFPA devised exercise stretches the suit diagonally across the body. We added one test to see what happens in the suit during strenuous work. The bicycle ride takes eight minutes, during which time the workload is incrementally increased from 25 watts to 100 watts. That's hard work, especially if you're wearing safety equipment. The test is over. We have conducted the same test on many people of different gender, age and fitness level wearing various types of suits. This particular test showed that a well-made, disposable SE Shield suit correctly assembled with an SE400 respirator and positive pressure hose can achieve the same low inward leakage as a fully encapsulated gas suit. <laughs>